have a great weekend coming up, so now is the perfect time. If you're thinking about kicking up your fall and Halloween decor to a new level, well, we've got some tricks for doing just that. We're joined by Kara Ziegler from Pike Nurseries with uh, some great plants and flowers that you can consider this time of year. Good morning, Kara. Good morning. All right, so this is a fun time because you can start using some things that you might not have considered other times of year. Yes, there's so many fun things that mm -hmm. you can use at this time of year and things that will transition all the way through the season. Okay. So what do we have? The first thing I like to do is use some foliage and some texture. So there's so many things like heuchera that has this nice black foliage mm -hmm. that you can pair with things. These make it all the way through. They can take shade to partial shade. You can use that. I like this. This is cardoon, which is actually in the artichoke family. And this will go all the way through the season. And it has sort of a creepy texture about it. Right. So I like to use these and pair them with flowers such as mums or pansies mm -hmm. to really create that whole Halloween spooky look. Sure, and the mums will carry you, like you said, through the season, even when yes. you get past Halloween, you don't have to ditch everything. That's right, they sure <laughs> will. Okay, what else do we have? This is a really fun plant. This is a serpentine weeping blue atlas cedar. That is really cool. And it's really neat. It gives you kind of a graveyard spooky look. And you can also have this plant year round and it you know, just creates a lot of drama in your container garden. Sure. Next, we have Laura Pedalum with this purple foliage. And once again, this is evergreen and does well in sun. And this is a really good addition. And then you can pair that with things like ornamental peppers. Mm -hmm. And that gives you red and purple foliage and put some pumpkins around and you've, you've got a Halloween scene. You've completed the look. All right, so if you want to transition this indoors, not just focusing on outdoors, what are some things that we can do then? There's a lot of neat things that you can do for your indoor container garden. So we've brought pitcher plants here and these are carnivorous plants and they do have the fun kind of purple red color and also they're a little spooky because they attract insects. Mm -hmm. And you can pair those with your Venus flytrap. Uh -huh. And then we also have black elephant ears here. And then the last thing I want to talk about is a spider plant. It's called a spider plant because it has all these hanging, almost looks like spider babies hanging down from it. All right. And then I see this right here, planting inside of a pumpkin. That's very popular uh, these days. Yes, and we have a class this weekend at 9 a.m. and it's $30 and we will help you create your own pumpkin planter garden to take home with you. All right. Fantastic. Thank you, Kara. Thank you.